of the most important activities of the Museum of Today is our American Indian Initiative. Native peoples were present in the Upper Ohio Valley before Europeans and were central to events at the Point, Fort Pitt, and Pittsburgh during the 18th century. Principal tribes present in the region included the Delaware, who had migrated from eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey to create distance between themselves and European settlers. The Shawnee, who were ancient residents of the Ohio country and were migrating back here during the late 17th and early 18th century. And the Seneca, who presently live in western New York and had migrated down the Allegheny and Ohio valleys into this region in the 17th and 18th centuries. The Seneca, the westernmost tribe of the Haudenosaunee or Iroquois Confederacy, also lived around Pittsburgh in the 18th century and played a major role as power brokers in the Ohio country during that period. Another tribe which played a major role in events in western Pennsylvania during the 18th century were the Mingos. These were Iroquoian residents of the Ohio country and they had several village sites in proximity to present-day Pittsburgh. With the exception of the Seneca Nation, which resides in present-day western New York, the federally recognized descendants of the American Indian peoples who call Western Pennsylvania home live primarily in Oklahoma today. The Heinz History Center's American Indian Initiative, led by the Fort Pitt Museum and Meadowcroft Rock Shelter and Historic Village, has welcomed the historic tribes of this region back to Western Pennsylvania to take an equal part in interpreting our shared history. We accomplish this through consultation on exhibits and programming, speaker series which welcomes American Indian presenters, and living history programming at both sites. A Seneca presence down here at Fort Pitt is really important. Uh, we got a lot of stories of uh, Seneca's coming down here to Fort Pitt uh, to do some trading. Uh, a lot of you know textiles, a lot of uh, tools, and uh, other things that are needed for life upriver. It's really important for uh, both Native Americans and you know non-natives to understand how big and important you know trading with one another was at the time and how that really shaped how things became you know post French and Indian War coming to places like Fort Pitt where you can talk to people who really live and understand the history of that time is uh, really important for people to know. I would really love to see overall in the country better representation for Native people and I think that Reminding folks that we're still here, reminding folks that there are 574 federally recognized nations, millions and millions of Native people to draw from. There's no excuse to not have Native people at sites like Fort Pitt. When people start to realize that there's this pool of people to draw from, not just for historical interpretation, not just for artifact reproduction, but for the administrative side of museums. Having a presence at a site like Fort Pitt or other historic sites around the country is one of the most profound forms of representation I think we can have today. It is hoped that by engaging with members of the federally recognized tribes that once lived in western Pennsylvania, we can have new educational opportunities, renewed opportunities for friendship and understanding by all involved.